Aries, all right, let's get into your reading. Peek at your person. Um, starting off with your person's overall energy, Aries. I feel like somebody might be coming towards you with an apology. I feel like they had a choice in love, chose wrong, thought the grass was greener. Now their energy is having an awareness, making a change or transformation, holding on to hope and faith, wanting to be happy again and be in harmony with you. So I feel like this person's coming back. They're going to apologize. Let's get into your reading and see what's going on. Uh, angel numbers, I am seeing 11, 11, and 7, 7. All right. Um, all right. What's going on? Aries persons, current energy, current situation. Keep in mind, Aries, it is a general collective reading. When I say your person, it could actually be your energy. So feel free to flip flop and reverse. Same to you, cross watcher. And this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right. Also, if you're feeling the vibe and want to be part of the tribe, please click subscribe. Also hit that like button so I can get these videos circulated. All right, let's get into it. So temperance, trying to be patient, going with the flow. Could be one foot in, one foot out. We also have six of pentacles. So some kind of reciprocation, equal give and take, balance, but we do have heartache, pain, disappointment strength, confidence, courage. So I feel like this person is kind of coming into that awareness that maybe things weren't equal give and take. It wasn't balanced. Maybe now they're hurting after they, they broke your heart. So heartbreaker to uh, heartbroken here. Trying to rebuild or wanting to rebuild and get on the same page. Taking those... Um, Trying to manifest, really, taking those thoughts, feelings, putting it out into the universe and trying to bring it into a reality here. All right, so. <laughs> All right, Aries, you guys got your sword drawn, looking away from each other, not even wanting to talk to them, I feel like. Ooh, All right, decision, could have been a water sign, could have been an air sign. So Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, or Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. What is this decision here? The choice. What is the choice? Decision. What is it for Aries person? Here we go. All right. Taking a leap of faith. Oh, closing out some kind of a cycle. There could have been distance between the two of you. Doesn't have to be. Just for some of you, maybe. I'm feeling some kind of third party interference, third party could be a person, place, or thing. There you are as the wish fulfillment, long-term stability, loyalty, family dynamic. Okay, yeah. Um, I feel like things got very cold towards each other. The two of you may have had some words here. Now they're feeling the pain and it's, you know... Look, look what they did to you, you know? Now they're feeling it. All right, what, what got in the way of this connection? It's blocking it, someone from the past. So maybe somebody from your person's past made a return and got in the way. Maybe they saw your person moving on and being happy and then had to sabotage it somehow. Yeah, reconciliation, wish fulfillment. Oh, yeah, now they're stuck. Could be a family member that got in the way as well. Family's coming through pretty strong. So could have been brother, sister, mother, father, aunt, uncle. Could be just a family member. Or this person could have had a family with somebody else, separated from that, moved on with you, and then kind of got sucked back into that. Yeah, like they couldn't walk away from it. They could have lied to you and told you they were going through a divorce or a separation and strung you along. Two of Cups here. Stress, anxiety, conflict, sleepless nights, replaying events over in their head, stressed out. They could have just been completely stressed to the point where they were like, I don't even know what to do anymore. I'm going to go the easy way back to the past instead of having that forward movement with you 
for some of you, you could be the one that has the, the commitment with this person or family dynamic with this person and somebody else got in the way. It could go that way too. Yeah, backstab, betrayal, painful ending, tower. So things came crashing down. You could have blocked communication with them. I'm getting strong Aquarius energy. Could be any sign though, but you could have blocked communication, cut them off, cut them out. I'm hearing that song, uh, Taylor Swift, we are never, ever, ever getting back together. <laughs> like that's how you're feeling. All right, how does this person feel about you, Aries? They want to talk to you. If you block them, they want you to unblock them. They want that change, transformation. They want that equal give and take reciprocity. They want commitment, leveling up, house, home, um, going from just dating to being exclusive or if you were married back to the the way it was I guess but they want victory and success they want commitment <laughs> oh they want commitment they want your attention again I feel like King of Pentacles, so Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Earth sign. It's funny because they feel like they're, they're completely stressed out in their head, overthinking crazy, crazy thoughts here. They feel like you're not. They feel like you're not stressed about this, even though you are. This is just how they're seeing things. If you're like posting happy things on social media and going out and having fun, maybe getting attention from somebody else, they're not enjoying seeing that. It's actually, it's stressing them out more. They want to heal. They want this 10 of cups back. You were their happiness. They screwed up. They ruined it. Change in perspective. Patience. Divine timing. Divinely guided. Stable new beginning with you. Moving the wheel forward. They want a new beginning, Aries. Are you going to do it? Are you going to take them back? <laughs> oh, what are their intentions here? To have victory and success. So part of me is a little nervous about this. Because it's also, it could be getting attention too. So is it, they just want your attention? And now family showing up in reverse. Which is long-term stability, loyalty, ten of pentacles. It's a something long-term or it could be a family dynamic. So their intention is to either gain some kind of attention or have victory and success and move things forward because they're hurting and they don't want to be heartbroken. Getting strong Cancerian energy to water, water energy. Feeling abandoned, left out in the cold, left hanging. Maybe the third party didn't work out. If they, if they had a, a choice, they chose wrong and that didn't work out. That came to an end. And that could be why you're feeling, no, we're never getting back together because you're not second choice. You're, because it didn't work out there, now you're coming running back. No. Some of you might, some of you might, and there's nothing wrong with your choices and what you want to do. You follow your intuition. Some of you might. But let's see, what is Aries going to do? Justice. Justice. You're not gonna, you're not gonna, um, I feel like you're gonna hear them out, see what they have to say. You might want that apology for healing or for closure, but I feel like you don't, you don't find strength in this connection anymore. Of 
closing out the cycle. You're not giving anything to this anymore, Aries. You're not. You made a head over heart decision. Yeah, because it was six of pentacles fell on the floor. It was too unequal. It was too unbalanced. You're not changing your mind. I'm getting queen of cups again, that water sign. Could be any any sign, but yeah, you're you're being the emperor here. You're taking a stand, you're standing your ground, you're leading the way on this. And I feel like most of you, probably 99% of you are just kind of done wanting to move on towards something new or just healing or just time to yourself. What's Aries gonna do? Who's coming towards Aries? Hmm. Okay, Aries, all right. <laughs> You're taking a leap of faith towards commitment. Is there somebody else? You're planting seeds. So you could just be trying to manifest somebody new. If you're like, I don't have anybody new, you could be actually healing and planting seeds for somebody new to come toward you, to give you that commitment. This, okay, there's that water sign again. You are completely turning your back on them. And focusing on your happiness, your wish fulfillments. Um, some of you could be trying to manifest a Taurus or a Libra. Could be any sign though, could be any sign. Are you sad that this didn't work out? Yeah. Do you have regrets? Yeah, I feel like you're kind of sitting in some some kind of regret here, but you have new love coming towards you, or at least that's what you're focusing on. So it's good. You're you're looking towards you're, you're looking ahead, not behind, you know. Lesson learned. All right. What other clarifiers do we have for Aries? Heartbreak, yeah. Hurt, betrayal, grief, disappointment. Grass is greener. <laughs> so now you're watering the grass on the other side, you know? Um, jealousy, better option, unhappy, deserve better. Proposal, love offer, engagement, agreement, a wish come true. Yeah, you're moving forward towards someone who can give you that commitment that you want. Divine timing, wrong timing, stalemate, perfect timing, waiting, player, charming, manipulative, karmic, being tested, and fear, afraid, uneasy, suspicion, scared. Yeah, you could be afraid to open your heart back up to this person. All right, anything else for Aries? Ooh, letting go. If someone... Leaves you confused more than comforted. You need to release their access to you. A lot kind of flew out here. Um, unrequited feelings. There's not enough love to keep this relationship going in a healthy way. Be present. You will attract love by enjoying your life as it is. Wherever you are, be all there. Be honest. Heart-to-heart -heart conversations are necessary. It's safe for you to talk about your feelings and past lives. You have known this person before. It's a soulmate from a past lifetime. So it could be a karmic. All right, let's see. Letters could be first, middle, last name, initials, could spell a name, could spell a word of significance, place it where you see fit. We have Q-O-R-A-D-K-V-E-Z-W-U. I'm also seeing B-T-S. All right. Uh, BTS O R Q V A D K E Z U W. All right, zodiac signs could be strong placements in their chart, could be the sun sign, something that happened during that season, like Aries season, for instance. We have double Gemini, Aquarius, Scorpio, Gemini again, and Virgo. Uh, could be any sign, you guys, that was getting strong air and strong water coming through. But again, could be anybody. Numbers could be birthday, anniversary, number of days, weeks, months, years. Could be an angel number. Could be an age. I have 1, 2, 3, 8. So it could be 12, 13, 31, 21, 18, 81. Um, we have January, February, March, and August. 
All right, Aries, that is what I have for you this week. Love and light. Take care.